Hi, this is Adam Shabbat with the Kenny Moak Post newspaper and the Biddeford Saco Old Orchard Beach Courier. And I am here at the Seashore Trolley Museum in Kenny Moak Port, Maine to learn all about the upcoming pre-apprenticeship program through the Seashore Trolley Museum Restoration Shop. Sally is new executive director of the Seashore Trolley Museum. Uh, what is your new role here and what, and what are your hopes for the Trolley Museum? My role is primarily to tell the Seashore Trolley Museum story to the larger community uh, and larger community has no boundaries. Seashore Trolley Museum is the oldest and largest museum of its kind in the world. I'll be making a major push to engage the immediate communities of the Kennebunks, Biddeford, Saco, and Arundel uh, to get more visitors from our own hometowns here and hope that we'll get more volunteers and members from those communities as well. When someone volunteers here at Seashore Trolley Museum, they can play an administrative role if that's what they choose, but there are also a variety of very fun activities for volunteers. The restoration shop, being a motorman, being a docent, uh, working on the grounds, whatever that is their area of interest, we have work to be done. So Sally, where are we headed next? We're going to the observation gallery and the townhouse restoration shop. Visitors can actually go into this observation gallery and look down on the uh, cars that are being restored at the current time. It's very interesting for restoration buffs and it's very interesting for history buffs as well because there are interpretive uh, flags and signs in the observation gallery. Take a last train to Pottsville and I'll meet you at the station. You can be here by 4.30 for the day. My name is Bernie Biznet and uh, I'm the, uh, the townhouse restoration foreman for Seashore Trolley Museum and I've been working here for five years. So Bernie, what exactly is your role here at the Seashore Trolley Museum? My role at the Seashore Trolley Museum is, is pretty much uh, the restoration of the trolleys. The new apprenticeship program we're starting is actually a pre-apprentice program where we um, we will hire students from the local trade school to come and uh, work with us. And what that will entail is that we'll help them fill the requirements for, for drilling, grinding, machine operations, uh, welding and fabrication. And we can assist them in, in signing off their hours that they need to accumulate for an apprentice program. Uh, the advantage is that we can start them as students and their time that they work with us rolls over into their apprentice program. This is carbon arc gouging, cutting. Uh, I think it was originally designed to remove welds. So when a guy welded on, you could cut the weld off and you could reset if you had to. I use it for removing rivets mostly and for cutting steel, obviously. I just cut this piece down here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. Yeah. Um, the advantage of, the, of carbon arc cutting is it doesn't care about rust. Like if you try to if you try to cut with a torch on rusty metal, the, the rust is it blocks all your cutting and it makes a big mess. And then, then you get a lot of ricochet because the oxygen is coming in, it's bouncing around, and you get this big swirl mark in it. With carbon arc, you got this pencil point you're using, and you're just kind of you got a small curve, and you can really get accurate on your cutting. What I hope it accomplishes would be to give students an opportunity to to try their skills in a real world environment. So they're going to come in and they're going to work with us, but they'll also see their end result in the restoration of a trolley um, to mentor them, uh, to guide them along, and not everything on the bench in a school environment works. So that this way they can actually see what does and doesn't work for them. Uh, we get into um, a lot of the old steels in the trolleys is, is, isn't the steel of today, so there's differential expansions problems that come up. And these are things that they'll be exposed to to see that not all things are created equal. So what they learn in school is a foundation, but they need to add to that foundation of school and actually apply it. A nice finished product and it's smooth. Um, a lot of times if you weld things together, like if there's a seam here, you can plan it.
The Seashore Trolley Museum will be operating during regular business hours, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., with their last trolley ride taking off at 4.15.